let's create the illustration first go to illustrator new file in the art and illustration tab you can find the 1920 by 1080p and hit create from here we're going to need some inspiration so i found this image that i'm going to use as the reference and actually take a screenshot uh, using a screenshotting tool named clean shot x on the mac copy it command v to paste it in and this is what i'm going to use as the base for this illustration so let's place it over here on the left hand side and on the right hand side i'm going to start drawing elements i'll start with the pen tool now i'm going to try to keep it as simple as possible just because i want this tutorial to be quick i'm going to close it up so this is going to be the face but now i can see the image so let's double click over here to get a stroke let's make it black hit ok and then switch to the fill over here click once and then hit none from this oval shape then i'm going to do the hair so the hair is going to go something like this let's keep it simple and drag and close it off now we have the shape of the hair and we also need a shape over here that's going to cut off at the face and actually make transition between the hair and the face now we have all of these shapes let's do some details in the face i'm going to zoom in and do the eyebrows now the eyebrows are going to be simple elements just like this and do the same for the one at the top for the eyes let's keep it super simple and just do these oval shapes now you can follow along with the image and you can try to do something very similar or you can try to do whatever you want to do <laughs> which could be something a bit more interesting then here i'm going to have an ellipse i'm going to start from over here and do the ellipse like that and with the direct selection tool i'm going to select this anchor point and move it down a bit for the girl's mouth i'm going to actually create a stroke like this and then I'm going to create a shape that's kind of like a novel that's going to be her lips. So this is going to be a very simple shape. We're going to deal with some of the details afterwards, but let's continue doing a shape for the body. So I'm going to zoom out a bit just to see what I'm doing over here. And let's create a big shape like this just for the body. And then we'll do the details like the clothes. Okay, now we have the shape. And for the clothes, let's create something uh, just following along this structure. I'm going to create this shape and close it off. Same over here. Just start from the top and you can try to follow along just with this style. This is an interesting dress. Usually the way I look for inspiration is just looking through fashion magazine because you can see different models or shapes that you can use in your illustrations. Then I'm going to have a shape over here that's going to be this zipper and I'm going to close it off. Now we can take all of these on the side, make a selection, hold down shift to get rid of the selection of the image, and then move it to the side. Now we have this <laughs> illustration and I'm going to start putting in some uh, details. So for example, we have this part which is supposed to go over the head and I'm going to cut it off. It's going to help if we add some color to it. So let's uh, do just that. I'm going to sample a color. Let's have a darker color. Right click, arrange, send to back, just to make sure that everything's visible. Then for the actual skin, let's use something, something like a blue, maybe blue violet. Then this is going to be the head as well, so let's sample that. This needs to be behind, just because we need to see all of these details. The clothes, these are going to be black, and then the zipper is going to be this color. And now we need to do some, <laughs> some uh, styling over here. So these are going to be black, the eyes are going to be black, then we'll have these lines which need to be a bit bigger. So go to the stroke panel on the left, right hand side, choose a rounded cap and a rounded corner and make it a slightly bigger like this this is going to be probably a red let's double click and get closer to a red or yeah something like this and command left bracket to send it behind now i'm going to use the same line to separate the face a bit over here let's separate the face the hair doesn't look that great so let's create a new set of hair over here and just give it more waves so with this hair i'm going to do this just create like some wavy wavy shapes that gives it a bit more character to the character <laughs> let's right click arrange send back and get rid of that initial shape 
now this is a bit better and this is going to be like this and when we look at the reference she does have like these spaces in between the hair so i'm going to do that so let me just try to do that and have some variation in the hair it's going to make a lot more sense i think in a few minutes so let's continue on this path and create the shape that I'm going to actually use. Remove it, and now, yeah, <laughs> it looks more like, more like human. Okay, and we also need some ears with the curvature tool. I'm going to create some ears over here. <laughs> she does look a bit mad. So let's with the direct selection tool, let's move this up a bit and make it like that. And this one, make it like that. So it looks like she's she's at least smiling. Uh, this is way better. I'm going to take this one and hold down the Alt key and move it around to create a duplicate. So now we have a duplicate as well. And for the hair, let's move it a bit higher up and also create another shape below it that maybe we're going to use it as a shape that's a different color just because you will look a bit more interesting. Right click, arrange, send back and let's sample this pink i still have issues with this transition over here so i'm going to make it a bit simpler so whenever you don't know what to do i always recommend trying to make things a bit simple now i'm trying to do this illustration in just a few minutes so i'm not that worried about it maybe equalize the face a bit so it doesn't look like her face is dropping on one side <laughs> for this one maybe get rid of it and we'll only work with this illustration just because i just want to show you how you can actually add grain texture to your flat designs but before we do that let's add a rectangle behind it just some background i'm going to select this rectangle go like that right click arrange send to back and then i'm going to probably use base color of this but just make it lighter let's make it more orangey more saturated towards red like this Hit OK and now we have this shape. Let's round the corners off so it doesn't look as bad as it looked before. So with this one, then I'm going to select all of these shapes and let's see if we can get rid with the shape builder tool, get rid of all of the axes. Okay, let's make some color swatches. So I'm going to take a rectangle and sample this color, make a duplicate by holding down shift and alt. And then I'm going to select the color that's darker. Yeah, so this one. So we're going to have a gradient between these two. And then for the pink, let's see, we'll have pink and this black. And for the background, we'll have this pink and maybe something more orange. Yeah, something like this, like peach. To create the first gradient, select this color first, and then I'm going to go over to the gradient tab, apply a gradient, then select the color and sample the first one, then select this color and with the color picker, click again and sample this one. For these ones, I'm going to have the same one, so I'm just going to sample it. For the hair, I'm going to apply the gradient, but actually click to sample this color and sample this color to have it dark then for the background sample it again and we just need to have these two colors which are kind of like the peach fast color now with the gradient tool once selected hit g on your keyboard and you'll be able to make changes to the gradient and now if you want to do it to multiple elements at a time select all of them and you can do that Let's see something like this. And for this one, I'm going to actually have to send this behind the face because now you can see the separation. Hit it a couple of times and so now you have it behind. For this one, this is going to be just like a gradient. And we also need a gradient for the black as well. Uh, so for the black color, let's have something lighter in between. So something like this, okay. Select it, add a gradient then sample this color and now you have this gradient over here same color will be here same color will be here same color will be here and now instead of just having two different shapes i'm going to select this two holding down shift then shift them 
and holding down alt key you get rid of all of those elements and now you have this element same way the ears maybe we need to combine them uh, shift m and just click and drag and you're going to combine all of those elements and just send things behind let's get rid of these elements just to make it look more like this and now we have the illustration but how are you going to add grain you keep asking <laughs> so the way i'm going to do it is first if we're going to add grain to these elements which are lines we also need to object expand them and make sure to have both fill and stroke selected and now with all of these we're actually going to go in another tool let's go in figma and actually create this new document which is going to be named grain illustration and over here you're going to have to switch to illustrator select all of these hit command c or Control c on uh, windows go back to figma and hit command v to paste it in and now you have all of the vectors here but it's inside the frame so you can right click and actually ungroup it and now you have a bunch of vectors and the way to add grain is through a plugin so go over here it's called resources go to plugins and look for noise and texture so you would just look for noise texture and you'll find it here it's done by rogi king hit once hit run and now you're going to be able to have this panel which actually allows you to add grain to your vector illustrations the way to do it is very straightforward just select the gradient or the shape and then you have a bunch of options you can click this one this one you have a bunch of patterns and things that you can use for texture let's select this one and hit add to layer but this is going to be super pixelized so the way to do it is adjust the size if you want it to be really pixelized or reduce it like really small to be able to have this grain effect so then you're going to have uh, the amount you can adjust the amount that you need you can adjust the rotation the actual shape of of the grain the opacity and even the color blend usually i recommend going with overlay so for example for the background i would use a small amount of grain just to have something in it and then we're going to do more grain on these elements so let's select it again and hit add to layer it's going to add the same amount but let's see how it's going to look if it's a bigger amount and also we can make them a bit bigger so have it like two pixels for the face you can have it normal you can have a lower opacity and uh, it's up to you if you want to see other ones how they look is the same thing i will just make them as small as possible and then you can see the effect if the granulation is too big usually i would make the whole thing a bit bigger just because that's going to use a lot more of the pattern so for example when i select this one you can see that the size now isn't that big of a deal so for example if it's like two pixels it's better if it's three pixels it's still something you can use uh, so let's reduce the amount just because i don't need that much and when you go here you can barely see it now right so let's uh, increase the opacity a bit make the size a bit bigger so something like two and Play around with multiple ways to have this grain show up. So for example, if you go into soft light, it is a bit softer. One thing that's interesting is that you can also have a different color for it. So instead of going to soft light, you can go into here and make sure that the opacity is 100%. And let's see how that's going to look like. So if it's a three pixels, you can see the granulation inside but let's do something that looks a bit more dramatic so for example i'm going to change it to white and just have it uh, add to these layers maybe have it a size of four and then a lower opacity something around 40 percent looks better and then we can do the same for all of the shapes so let's select all of these have this one selected hit add to layer and now you have some texture to your illustration now the thing is that this is using an image so if you're looking over here this is an image and if you'd still like to have texture that's vector then you'll have to still do it in illustrator but this is a really quick way to add texture to your illustration you can add different patterns for example let's say this pattern 
and let's make it smaller you'll barely notice it but at least you can play with different textures and if you don't like it just command z and you'll go back to what you currently had so play around with this one and see if you find any textures that you like hope you enjoyed this tutorial if you did don't forget to like it and subscribe for more if you still want to add grain texture to your vectors and have that grain be actual vector elements you can find in the description a discount code to my brush pack thank you so much and see you next time bye